Hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages, okay? Please like, y'all. That's how people get the message. You please just like the video for me, okay? Um, and thank you <laughs> to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It's greatly loved and appreciated. God, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, all beings of light with my best and the best interest of the collective at heart please you're welcome into this reading okay come on in give us the best and most accurate information for us at this time okay look so last night <clears throat> spirit had me looking through that this rune book that i have um you know it just explains the runes and you know what gods and goddesses it um the runes are connected to you know and stuff like that so um they had me look at two different layouts, okay? So they had me just do a rune reading. Um, it's much faster because I'm just learning how to do it, you know? So it's faster to just do it and take notes on it and tell you more like this, okay? So um, let me change this first, okay? I was getting on my nerves. So this one is a speedy answer to a question you may ask, okay? So um, the first rune is supposed to explain, you know, the question, okay? So you guys got Jira, okay? It says a time of joy after worthwhile effort, you know? And then I just wrote yes, you know, because that sounds like a yes to me, okay? So if it's a yes or no question, okay, the answer is yes. <laughs> um, I wrote excellent omen approaching a major, excellent omen, okay? Approaching a major turning point in your life, okay? So, um you know, if you're wondering, you know, like, when am I going to get to harvest, you know, because I wrote harvest time, okay, spirits, like, you have to keep on believing, you know what I mean? If you believe that, you know, you can make whatever you want happen, happen, then you can, you know, and if you take the proper steps, you know, that's what I'm hearing, take the proper steps, okay? So the next three rooms um, are just supposed to, you know, answer the question. Oh, but also I wrote um, a successful completion of a project and possibly signing a lucrative contract. Okay, look, within the next few months, you could be signing some sort of lucrative contract. Um, it says, listen to your intuition and be assertive about what you want when you, if you, well, when you do come to making this um, big decision for you, you know, make sure you're getting everything that you want and need out of the deal is what Spirit's saying. Um, anything else about the question, Spirit? It's up to you, okay? Whatever question you have, you know, the answer really is up to you and the actions that you take and the belief and the, and the faith that you have in, is that thing going to happen for me or not, you know? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so next I got um, Kanunez, okay? But it was in reverse. And it says in my little, my other little rune book, it says, love touches you and there is sudden clarity, okay? So if your question is about love, you know, it was in reverse. So um, you could be in a relationship, okay, where the um, affection is draining, you know, and you want to know what you know, what's going to go on with that. Okay. Um, it says affection could have, or be fading in, could have been, or could be fading in a love connection because of this. Okay. Um, it says release the past and be prepared to move on. You get to keep the lessons and improve your story. That's just beginning. You know, if you, are in a relationship that seems to be falling apart or you were in a relationship that, you know, you got out of and it was like, you know, a big like type of ordeal spirit saying, you know, expect these big happy changes. You know what I'm saying? If you did break up, it was for a reason. Okay. Um, I'm really hearing they weren't for you. That person was not for you. Okay. They couldn't handle you. <laughs> That's what I heard. They couldn't even handle you, baby. Okay. Um, so next is your as, okay. It says, um, respect my forces of the universe as a healing source. Okay. Good news. If you've had an illness and I wrote broken heart, mm, 
if you've had an illness or um, lacked vitality, increasing speed of events, you'll soon be unstoppable. Okay, so um, spirits just they need you to get more information, you know, um, whatever it is that the question is about, you know, you could if it's a relationship. OK, they're saying get more information about yourself and about you know, what, like what way you should be going. Okay. Like, but in the near future, you know, you're going to figure this out, you know, but as far as money goes, or, you know, this big contract that you could be signing. Okay. Spirit saying, get more information. Okay. Know as much about that field as you need to know. Okay. So that you can go in there prepared. You know what I'm saying? They're saying with a level head and all the knowledge that you need. Okay. And make sure you're looking for the signs from spirit because they really do walk you through things like this. You know what I mean? But in all situations, there's always something better. You know what I'm saying? There's always something better, a peaceful resolution as long as you're you know working with your spirit team and really listening to their suggestions and the things that they have like spirit really gives me like <laughs> spirit really gives me like ideas and shit like spirit tells me what to do sometimes you know or sometimes you know it's just like up to me or whatever okay and also the calendar okay look it's two people in the grocery store right and the guy asked the lady, like, you know, you need any help? And she's like, yes, I do need help. Could you show me where the chocolate chips are and tell me everything's going to be okay? Okay, so everything's going to be okay, my love. Like, you really don't have anything to worry about because you're focused on the right things, okay? you focused on, you know, your happiness and your sustainability. Like, that's amazing. You can't go wrong with that, you know? So, um... Next is Uraz, okay? It says, respect my... No, I already read that. Uh, so the last one is Othelos, okay? And it was in reverse. Um, and it it's the rule... Well, it said loyalty, okay? That's what I got from it, okay? Loyalty. So Spirit saying, you know, it says respect and identity are the foundations of family, you know? So you could be... Um, questioning the loyalty of your family is what I'm hearing. And, but they already said, you know, listen to your intuition. Like, you know, what's really best, you know, they want you to keep your mind focused on the positive things. Okay. It says concentration, concentration and focus of the mind are keys to sustaining a strong leak with the spirit world. Okay. To create a strong link with the spirit world, it's important to build up your psychic connection. So communication can move freely back and forth between the spirit world and you, a mind that is not focused, cannot concentrate on the task at hand. Once your attention veers off somewhere else, the link with the spirit world can easily be broken and you'll have to reinitiate the connection all over again. Okay. So spirit saying, you know, when you are trying to communicate with your spirit guides, okay, make sure you're concentrating on what you're doing, you know, for as long as you can. And it just helps to build that link, that link, that link until you get to the point <laughs> where you're like me and spirits like commenting on everything that you do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, that's cute type shit. <laughs> okay. So it says there's a place within the realm of the spirit world where you can access guidance, inspiration, and Support throughout your spiritual development. It's a higher realm where spirit guides, angels, and masters exist. Okay. They're here to support your mediumship and spiritual development. So just reach out and connect. It says every medium must learn to work in partnership and collaboration with their spirit guides to know how and when they draw near and how to forge a strong link. Um, meditating. Okay. Meditation to quiet the mind and breath work to create balance and rhythm are some good ways to blend with their energy okay so that's even some suggestions for you to like link up with them more you know um and dancing too dancing is um a really powerful thing you know the trans dance card just talks about just dancing you know what i mean it doesn't matter how it looks you know or if it's cute or not just do some dancing because it really changes up your energy and i don't know just let me see I, let me tell you some more okay it says, let's dance with spirit. Trans dance is an enticing way to just play with the energy of spirit in a manner that's both fun and inspiring. There are no set choreographed steps, just, just the rhythmical movement of you and spirit in perfect harmony. Trans dance can be uplifting. Practice that. It's a practice that it's 
can be an uplifting practice that can reduce stress and be a refreshing change from the more formal and traditional practices of mediumship, okay? So, so dancing is really, really a strong thing for you, okay? It says nature's healing power, okay? So getting grounded, um, make sure you're staying grounded, you know, going outside, connected with nature, soaking up sunlight, sun gazing, moon gazing, things like that, you know, this will all help you, you know, um, in being connected to spirit and in being of service in whatever field it is. Cause I really do feel like this is, I mean, it answered the relationship question, but I really feel like this is more of a, like a finances and career type of answer, you know? So it's like um, when you're called to awaken the medium within, it's also a calling to devote your life to a work of service. It's truly an honor and a blessing to serve spirit. If you hold an open and pure heart, the blessings from spirit in return will be bountiful and endless, you know, and I feel like you have really truly made that, you know, you're really blending with spirit right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's really great. And they're about to bless you with like this big deal or whatever, you know, they're going to give you what you want, but they're just saying, you know, make sure that you're connected into them more, you know, so they can help you in certain situations and you won't, um, you know, get trapped or get tricked or anything like that. But I don't feel like you can get trapped or tricked. I feel like, you know, you're very smart. You think on your toes, you know, you, <laughs> you might even be like a little witty. Okay a little snappy sometimes okay you might be a comeback queen or king like me okay um i don't know okay spirit this or the okay also when i was writing okay spirit told me like if i'm writing and i write a letter that i know does not go in that word you know that's a sign <laughs> okay that's a thing so they want me to tell you Something about the esoteric letter E. Champion, champion. Nothing. No, nothing. So, um, it actually says very unusual and under and understood or liked by only a small number of people, especially those with special knowledge. He has an esoteric collection of old toys and games. So you could. <laughs> I don't know. You might be into things like that. That never happened, so that's why I read it. Okay, um, it says... Essence, the breath of God, window and man, energy, experience, ecstasy, enlightenment, element and I. Okay, the numerology is five. Okay, which is good. Okay, because five is the number of big changes. Okay, <laughs> five is the number of change. Okay, it says, um, but it's, it can also represent like, I don't know, I really get in like a group or like conflict. But I mean, not not like that, you know, just period. OK, so expansion, exploration, exhaustion, empathy, extroversion and equilibrium. OK, so the fifth letter of the alphabet is he or E in English. OK, he is or he, I think, is the symbolic breath of God in the Kabbalistic system. OK, it represents the divine revelation, essence of life and effortless effortlessness of the world. Okay. According to Webster, essence is the fundamental, actual, and unchanging nature of a thing or its significant individual feature. Okay. So the value of E is five, which is the number of man. Okay. So man stands for master, able, and noble. Okay. Um, that is a man must muster his own. Oh, my bad. Muster master his own five senses to be able to ascend to the heavenly realm okay only then is he considered noble okay so they're asking you to master yourself more you know get really figure out the five senses so that you can really activate your imagination and manifest the results that you want properly okay um it says in esoteric teachings, when we become a master of our over our own animal nature, we are enlightened being whose body is light and whose mind is Christ. Okay. 
It says letter E resembles our human eye. The all-seeing eye capstone on the pyramid behind the $1 bill is missing the letter A. Um, it is a, a, the eye of God who is always present in our every action, okay? The lowercase e is also the secret meaning of the internet, which is the small eye that watches our behaviors. Everything we do online left its footprint behind. Thus, we really need to behave properly in the online environment, okay? So Spirit's saying, watch what you're putting online, okay? So um, it says in the Egyptian esoteric, in the Egyptian school of esoteric, esotericism, I don't know, my bad, just bear with me, okay? It says the letter E symbolizes the scale of justice. He held up on the day of judgment, my bad, the scales of justice held up on the day of judgment when we die, okay? Our hearts are weighed against the feather of my eye. truth, justice, okay, look. Like that, you know, how in this little picture, how it looks like, you know, a scale. Okay. So um, it says, if our heart is lighter than the feather, we get the mark of purity and worthiness to live forever in the afterlife with Osiris. If not, we will be devoured by a mint, which is the devourer of the dead or the eater of hearts, okay? So the Egyptian mythology, therefore, therefore letter E spiritually means justice, balance, and judgment, okay? So in numerology, the first letter of, in numerology, if the first letter of your name or your vow starts with E, you are expressive, eager, energetic, emotional, and extroverted in personality. As E's numerical value is five, people with E in their names are outgoing people who love to explore the world to its fullest potential, okay? But your name doesn't have to um, start with an E for this to resonate with you, okay? It says, when we double the letter E, we get E, <laughs> which symbolizes the expressive and expansive nature of E people, okay? We see this quality in many words, such as free, deep, sleep, sleep, seek, flee, okay, etc. Life is a school for you, and you learn your lessons through experience, okay? Spiritually, E is progressive as the letter is facing the right. People often look ahead into the future and get excited about things going to come. As number five lies in the middle of one and nine, you need to establish balance as you are changeable, flexible, and versatile in nature. Um, on the negative characteristics, E people need to control their energy properly. Otherwise, E is prone to being restless and exhausted due to overactivity. You frequently change your mind. Thus, it is difficult to get you to be committed to do, it, to do something, okay? So Spirit's just saying, you know, um, whatever you plan on doing, okay, make sure that you follow through. I think they said a lot to you just then, <laughs> okay? They bring in my attention to this invisible shield card. It says wine could, wine could lead minds astray and cause all sorts of problems, okay? So, you know, maybe if you drink, they want you to cut back on drinking, okay? They want you to stop worrying about what pe other people um, will think and say about the thing, about, you know, your dreams and the things that you want to make happen. It really doesn't matter what they'll think or say, you know, as long as it makes you happy, you know, and if, if they really love you and care about you, then they'll be happy that you're happy. They won't even care, okay? It says, don't put my good advice to shame, okay? <laughs> um, it says, rulers who want to rule must honor wisdom. They will reign forever, okay? So honor the wisdom within you, okay? Because that is one of your biggest strengths. You know things other people just don't know. You know what I'm saying? Look, not my first rodeo, okay? So you've reincarnated lots of times. Okay, this ain't your first time doing this. Okay, it says, um, has no natural predators, like, there's nobody that can stop you. Okay, <laughs> I see 1919. Okay, um, 525,600 minutes. That means it's only a matter of time before you know, whatever this is that you have this question about, um, you know, 
works out and works out in your favor okay it says the lord will be found by those who trust in him okay so make sure that you are trusting in spirit you know and allowing them to guide you properly you know because it is that's why it's called teamwork you know because we have to get to a certain point you know where we just surrender and allow them to help us through whatever it is we're, we're worried about or confused about you know so so that we're not being worried or confused okay um 1919 signifies it, an ending and a new beginning, okay? So like Death Card vibes. It says, what goes up must come down. This is a reminder to surrender at this time and let things happen the way they are meant to. Release the need for control. To make a big change, we must let something out of our grasp, okay? Two more, Spirit. It says, the straw that breaks my back, okay? So it's like you've already experience that last straw moment that this is it you know what i mean and you've been misjudged a lot this whole time and spirit's gonna pay you back for that okay because you're loyal you loyal to god and to yourself and that is admirable and they love that shit okay and also you do honest work you produce good fruit and you possess roots of wisdom babes okay so it's a big yes to whatever it is you know um i hope you have a happy fabulous wonderful and amazing day but wait it says, I hate mess, but I love you at the bottom of the deck, okay? So if you feel like it's messy, hold up, look. <laughs> it say expect money, okay? So look, if you're feeling like everything's a little bit messy right now and messed up, you're going to be okay, okay? Everything is okay. Like I was saying, have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day, and I will see you later.